as we wrap up our conversation around what the brain is made of, is around neuroplasticity. And people might be going, why does, how does that fit into the context of what it's made of? And I'm going to obviously allow you to make that connection for people. But what does this actually mean? And why, sh- why is it of importance to us? First of all, what it means is that the brain, the brain can grow and change, evolve, even when we are older. We used to think that once you were a certain age, 16, 17, 18, 19, then that was it. Your brain was the way it was. I knew that was what you were stuck with for the rest of your life. We now know that's not true. Something bad happens to the brain. The brain will gradually re-evolve and change. Even the use of some of the neurons will change so that they adapt to what the brain currently needs. So what what neuroplasticity really means is the ability for the brain to change. That's essentially what it's about. And it does... You forget the idea that you have a brain and it's exactly the same as it was 10 years ago. Each time you learn, each time you transition in some way, shape or form, the brain is changing. And even listening to this podcast, or even as I were recording it, I think our brain is being rewired slightly, which for me, it gives me hope personally and professionally because it means none of us are stuck. We can all grow, learn, adapt, rewire. Relationships can heal. Teams can change. And then I think the overall summary is that the brain's flexibility or its ability to change and to grow is our greatest gift because it allows us to move forward versus being stuck where we, where we were. Absolutely. And if you turn around and we've talked a little bit, I think on a growth mindset, Mm -hmm. growth mindset is based on curiosity. And let's look and find out what's new, what is out there, what's in, what's the other side of that door. Let's open it up and take a look whether that's a metaphorical door or a real door, the brain is going to change as a result of doing all those things. Right. No, I think it's fantastic. And what interesting little tidbits that we've been able to share along this journey of today's conversation around what the brain is made of. 